Hey everyone, welcome to our second Q&A. We got a bunch of great questions from our followers last time, so we're here to answer the best. A follower asks, is there a way to properly clean a Russian tortoise so they're safe to kiss or hold? That's a really good question, and a lot of the time when I post a video of me kissing Herschel, I get a bunch of comments of people that are asking me if I'm going to get salmonella. The truth is, you're more likely to get salmonella from your romaine lettuce or from cookie batter than you are from your tortoise. Wild tortoises and wild reptiles in general do pose a risk of salmonella. However, all pet tortoises should go to the vet one or two times a year for a checkup anyway, and that usually involves a stool sample. By checking for parasites and bacteria in your tortoise's fecal matter, they'll be able to tell you pretty easily if there's any sort of dangerous parasite or any sort of disease that you can get. Also, pet tortoises need pretty frequent baths. Hatchlings need to be soaked every single day, and adult tortoises need it at least every three days. I recommend more than that, if possible. Herschel gets his baths every other day, and he gets a 20 minute long soak in lukewarm water. This keeps him super clean. A well cared for tortoise shouldn't have any sort of odor. If you do smell any sort of odor, that's probably a sign of a more serious health problem. So to answer your question, I wouldn't stress out about kissing your tortoise. Another follower asks questions to ask a breeder when trying to buy a tortoise. Personally, I'm not the best person to ask on this. I don't really support breeding. Um, Herschel was adopted. There are so many tortoises that are, you know, bought by people that don't realize how long they live or how big they get. I really suggest if you're looking to get a tortoise, you check out all your local reptile rescues um, or humane societies, that sort of thing first. But if you can't find a tortoise available for adoption, you want to make sure that they're a reputable breeder. For instance, please don't buy from pet stores if you can. Make sure that the breeder has a good rapport, that people trust them, that their hatchlings are healthy, that there's no birth defects. And you want to make sure that they're treating their animals well, that they're not keeping them crammed into tubs, that they genuinely care about the happiness and health of the animals, and they're breeding them because they want to bring more cute tortoises into the world, not because they want money. I think the great thing about Instagram is that you can check out a lot of breeders online. You can see if they're letting their animals go outside, get sun on their shelves, um, what they're feeding them, and if they genuinely care about them. You don't want to be getting your tortoise from a place where they're keeping them crammed in plastic tubs. And please, before you get any animal, make sure you do research. As I mentioned in my last Q&A, tortoises are surprisingly difficult to care for, and you want to make sure that you're prepared for that type of responsibility. Remember, they can live a hundred years. Another follower asks, do they enjoy routine? Yeah, I think they do enjoy routine to a certain extent. Um, I think all animals like to have a certain schedule, not to be surprised, especially, as I mentioned, these are technically prey animals. Well, Herschel's not really a prey animal. But yeah, I think they do enjoy routine. I think they like to have food at a certain time. I know that if Herschel's food isn't out, he will sit on his rock really sadly and look up at me and just guilt trip me and make me feel really bad. He does like to wake up at the same time every morning. He doesn't always go to sleep when he's supposed to, but I think all kids are a little naughty about bedtimes. So yeah, I think it is about finding a balance. You wanna make sure that they get up at the same time every day, that they have food at the same time every day but you also wanna make sure that you're enriching their lives. You wanna make sure that they are having new experiences, that they're not getting bored. Another follower asks how to know if they enjoy something. This is a tough one. Reptiles don't show enjoyment in the same way that a dog or a cat does. I think the best way to tell is that they'd be out of their shell. They'd be stretched out, they'd be sunning, they wouldn't be hiding in their shell. Also with food, tortoises are really good about letting you know when they don't like something. They'll pick all their favorite foods out of their mix. So if they're continuing to eat something, that means they like it. Another follower asks, does he recognize his name? I think Herschel does recognize his name. Tortoises definitely don't hear as well as their other senses. They have a great sense of smell, great sense of taste, great eyesight. I notice he can see me all the way across the room uh, and he can see my fingers all the way across the room. Their sense of touch isn't that great. That's why they have to bite everything. It's their main way of exploring their environment. But yeah, I do think Herschel does recognize his own name if I'm talking loud enough. A lot of the time he'll look at me when I say it and he'll even come over. Conveniently though, he suddenly doesn't recognize his own name when he's trying to do something naughty, like go under the couch. Another follower asks, can I have two tortoises in one enclosure? Can I own two tortoises? Would they bond? There's very few reptiles that are social. Honestly, I don't recommend keeping multiple tortoises together, especially not different species, as they can share parasites and different germs. Even if they are the same species, tortoises aren't social in the wild. They pretty much only interact with each other for mating season, which ends up being pretty violent. When they're mating, the males bite the females really hard, and this can draw blood and even cause serious injuries. Your tortoise doesn't care about being alone, and in fact, they might be happier that they have their territory to themselves. 
pretty much the only type of common turtle I would say is okay to keep together is red-eared sliders. I honestly can't think of a type of tortoise that I would say is social. So yeah, go ahead and have two turtles, but make sure you keep them in separate enclosures. If you're gonna let them hang out together, it's best to supervise their playdates. Another follower asks, okay, does your tortoise poop on literally everything you touch as if mocking you? Do you poop on everything? In the summer, Herschel only poops one or two times a day, and in the winter, he poops maybe once a day. So honestly, as long as he's pooped in his enclosure, I can be pretty confident he's not gonna poop out here. There are times that he does surprise me, and it's hard to know if he's peed already, so sometimes he does pee on the carpet or make urates. I think if you're worried about that sort of thing, you can put towels down, you can put them on hardwood floors, you can even buy those like removable foam mats that you use in children's playrooms. But again, owning any type of animal comes with specific responsibilities, and just because it's kind of a pain in the ass to clean poop off the carpet doesn't mean it's okay to keep them in their enclosure all the time. But I definitely have been pooped on before. Another follower asks, what does Herschel dream about? Actually, we have Alexa said to recite a lullaby that I wrote to Herschel every night when his light turns off. It goes, good night my turtle, it's time to sleep. Everyone's sleeping so don't make a peep, and close your peepers and snuggle your hay. Dream of banana until the next day. So personally, I think Herschel dreams of banana, but he probably also dreams of biting us. Interestingly, there's no conclusive studies that turtles dream one way or another. It hasn't really been studied, but there are studies that reptiles dream, specifically lizards. Another follower asks, what foods are they allowed? I actually have a ton of different care tips in my story highlights. So if you're interested in seeing what Russian tortoises can eat, what their enclosure should be like, what lights they can use, how to soak them, etc., make sure you check those out. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. We'll see you next time.